Hey boys and girls, guess what? We did it. We made it all the way through the books of the New Testament in the Bible. And today we're gonna talk about the last book of the Bible. The last book of the Bible is called Revelation. Can you say that with me? Revelation. Revelation means to make something known. The book of Revelation is a prophecy to make known to us that Jesus is coming again. I'm gonna tell you a story to explain this last book of the Bible, Revelation. John had a dream and in his dream, he saw a great throne in heaven. God sat on the throne. Some of God's people stood with angels around the throne and were singing. In God's right hand, he held an old book. This book tells everything about the world that has happened in the past and what's to come in the future. God wrote it all down and then closed the book and sealed it shut with seven seals. One of the angels asked, who is good enough to break the seals and open God's book? The angel looked and looked, but no one was good enough. That made John sad because he wanted to read the book, but someone was good enough. Jesus, Jesus was able to break the seals and open the book. He read the book to John. The book said that God's enemy, Satan, would come like a dragon and that he would try to hurt God's people. There will be terrible days, wars, and earthquakes. Satan will hurt God's people, but he won't be able to destroy them. On the last day, Jesus will come back. Jesus will come like a hero riding a white horse. Jesus will defeat Satan and live with his people forever. God will keep all of his promises. Wow, that's an interesting story. It reminds us that God had a plan from the very beginning to rescue us. The first part of the Bible is all about God promising to rescue his people. Then the last part of the Bible is about Jesus coming and dying for us. In the book of Revelation, God is telling the rest of his plan of rescuing us. Jesus is coming again. When Jesus comes again, he will finish his plan by making a way for us to live forever in God's presence in heaven. Jesus is coming again. That's the story of the Bible. God is holy and just. We sin. God had a plan. Jesus came and died for us. And one day, Jesus will come again to complete the plan. Let's pray and thank God that Jesus is coming again. God, we are just so thankful that you've had a plan for us from the very beginning to save us through your son, Jesus, and that Jesus is coming again so that one day we will live with him forever. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. I hope you've learned a lot about the Bible over the last few weeks and are excited to share this awesome story of God's rescue plan and love for us with other people you know. Have a great week, guys, and we will see you next time.